and the engineer, Mr. Hugh, was busy getting Sir Handel prepared in time to continue the service from Monday onward. The manager, in their absence, stepped in as fireman for the two trains that day, and a volunteer took his place as guard. On the morning train, after much slipping up the gradient at Lennox, Reneus felt something unusually loose in the right side of his valve gear. With the knowledge that Mr. Hugh was busy, he decided not to tell the manager, and so carried on as usual. That afternoon, everything was as normal for what should be Reneus's last train, at least until the railway could afford his long-awaited overhaul. Reneus rested in the silence, taking on coal and water, and sitting in the seat and watched the passengers arrive at the wow. Yeah. It had been raining. In spite of this, okay. many tourists from India had turned up to join the little old relic on its final journey. He was determined to let nothing ruin this day. I'll be fine. Mm -hmm. It's just one train. Come on, old boy, called the manager. We're due to leave in five minutes. The name hit steam and crawled over the points of head of the loop. At this point, people swarmed around the engine, snapping photographs at every angle. But Naeus's driver could hardly see as they backed down mm. onto the coach. Mm. Reneus gave a long, cheerful blast on his whistle, and with a burst of steam and much mm -hmm. wheels lifting, he began to descend to the top mm -hmm. station. Where's your figure? Okay, someone just moved. Mm. As he approached the station beside the shed, he spotted Mr. Hugh working on the handle through the open door of the workshop. Just me. Ah, I can't damn get it. it now. Come on. One last train in middle New York turned to be many, he thought to himself. After a minute's rest, the guard blew the whistle as Reneus slipped out of the station once again. Struggling to grip the rail. What's that? He ran through Prognikia and gravely tackled the hill. Despite the use of the sanding gear, Reneus's wheels just span furiously as he mm. tore up the line. Then, for a moment, everything seemed to run smoothly. Reneus's valve gear stopped rattling, and he gained a firm grip mm -hmm. on the rails. Ah, oh, hello there. But with a sudden oh. bang, oh. his wheels locked, and he ground to a sudden stop. They had stopped on the loneliest part of the line. Oh. There was not a road, town, okay. or telephone for miles. The driver, oh, guard, the and the manager hill. got down and looked over their engine. The driver broke the silence. 